In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the debug tools for the Neos 2 development tools for Eclipse. First, let's go over and open up our Neos 2 software build tools for Eclipse. It's going to ask us our workspace. Let's use the last workspace that we used in the last lesson. All right, so this is our hello world small.c file that we had in our last lesson. So it's just printing one string. Let's copy this code and do just simple things with it right now. And let's say hello world from Neos2 and then hi Sean and And how about let's do one Okay, so now that I have five printf statements right here, basically, what I'm going to want to do is run this on the board and then run it on the board using Neos2 DevTools. So first, let me turn on the board. We don't have to rebuild the project since we haven't touched any of the hardware components. It's only software. Software uh, rebuilds all the, or recompiles, I should say, all the time. So let's save this file. Neos2, Quartus2 programmer, so we can program the board with our system, the hardware that we developed in Quartus2. USB blaster. Let's find files. My systems, system one. Neos2 time limited. Click OK. It's there. So let's now start so we can download it. OK. So just to show you that this program does work as intended, what we're going to do is we're going to run as Neos2 hardware and just run it straight as Neos2 hardware so we can see all those print out right in the console. So all of our printf statements are right here in the Neos2 console. They all printed out via JTAG. That's cool. But now what if I wanted to debug something and see if it was actually getting there or something like that. So let's stop this and then come up here and right click on this on our project and do run as, or not run as, debug as, I'm sorry, debug as Neos2 hardware. Pop-up's gonna ask me, am I sure that I wanna go into the different perspective? Yes, I wanna go into the debug perspective. So now I'm in the a debug perspective. What do I wanna do while I'm here? So first, I wanna come in and put breakpoints. So here's my code. I can right click, show line numbers so I can see all my line numbers. And let's say I want to debug my code, make sure each and every single one of these run. So let's put it breakpoints at four of these right here. And then up here at the top, we see these commands right here. Not, not to be confused with these green ones or stuff right here with the debug and the run. No, we want the little play button, pause, and the terminate. So right now, we're actually not running anything on the board. So what we want to do is come in and resume. So click resume, it's going to come in and stop. It's going to run one command and then stop the next breakpoint. Okay, here's hello world from Neos2. Sweet. Let's hit resume one more time. It prints the next one and stops because the next is the breakpoint. What's highlighted in green here is the next command that it's going to run. So not the command that's run, the next command that's going to run. Click it, do that again. And there we go. It's now in this while loop right here. We didn't put a breakpoint in there, so it's not breaking. Now, if we wanted to pause it, we can pause it right now and then, okay, we can see we're, we're at the while loop command. Run. Pause. Okay, we're still at the while loop command. It's not, nothing's going to change there. And then we can run it or and we can also terminate. So terminate stops the program and then we're going to have to rebuild. All right. So in this window, let's say if I change something, let's Say FPGAs are fun. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this entire line. Okay. What if I wanted to come up here to the little bug and then click Hello World News 2 Hardware Configuration? 
I want to save the changes. It's going to build and then run it. All right, so it puts me right back here where I was. I can hit play. Everything happens. So now let's show like a variable because right now we're just printing stuff to the JTAG. So let's make an integer. Let's call it x. Let's make it equal to 5. And then right here, before we print this statement, we want x to now equal x plus 1. So it should be 6. Save that, make sure everything has a breakpoint. And let's come up here and run it as Neos2, um, debug as Neos2 hardware, I'm sorry. So we're going to want to come up here and debug as Neos2 hardware. Have it build. Now that it's ready, we're going to hit play. First thing, we're going to come up here, we can see variables, we can see x is equal to the value 5. Sweet, so we can see all of our variables that we have once they've been declared, they're up here to the 5. We can also come see all of our breakpoints, we can uncheck certain breakpoints, and so we can skip them if we wanted to, but right now we want to run them all. We can actually see the registers, so if you actually want to get to like an assembly level, and here you can. You, we can see all of our registers, the zero register is zero, um, R2, some random values for all of these. Um, and we can also see what's in memory. We can search memory if we're saving anything to memory. Um, but we can do that by entering the address. We don't have anything that we're saving in memory right now, so everything's saved in a register. Um, so, but if you needed to, if you needed to save something in memory, you actually have a problem there, you can actually see what's going on in the memory. Um, next, let's just continue going through this so we can go through the next function. We're just printing things out to the console, as you can see. And now that we passed this one, we just executed this statement, the value is now 6. So it is displaying what our value is. And we can right click up here and let's say if we're doing something and we wanted to see it in a different value. We come to format, we can do it at decimal, um, which it already is, hexadecimal, which is 6. Um, we can also come see octal, which is 6, and binary. So if we want to see binary, even though you can't write C in binary, we can come and see it in binary so that we can debug that way if we are very uh, on a low level. And there we go. Everything's done. That's a, just a low level introduction on how to use the debug tools for the Neos2 software build tools for Eclipse. There's written documentation for all of this on fpga.seanwrl.com, as well as all these project files. So if you wanted to download them and execute them, if you're having problems, you can 